Marching in support of the arts today, but as it turns out, the efforts of this Otago University student group were all in vain. A Senate meeting has voted axing the art, history and visual culture courses by 2020. Students feel like the decision is not made with long-term thought um, involved and is making a decision without consulting wider members of the community. So we've actually managed to bring members of the Dunedin art community along because with, with a decision like the Art History Programme it is a no-brainer that members of the community are able to talk about it and the fact that they haven't even been questioned is, is a disgrace. The decision means there'll be no new intakes and the programme phased out over the next couple of years. Student Voice says it's a short-sighted decision that undermines the values and purpose of what a university should stand for, a view shared by the city's wider arts community. We have members of Blue Oyster, Bellamy Art Gallery, Dunedin Public Art Gallery who have, who've come along and uh, shown up and taken their, taken their time to, to show their support for the art history program and kind of stated the importance that it has on, on their lives within Dunedin as, as a city of culture and of literature and of art. Students say at a time when other universities around the country are questioning the future of their art history programs, it's crucial Otago stands by the importance of it as an academic discipline. Art history is an unmovable amount of influence and understanding in the way that we examine culture, see how it's used and, and it informs how it's going to be used in the future and how it's understood. But despite the impassioned pleas of students today, enrolments in art history have dropped from more than 80 equivalent full-time students in 2014 to fewer than 19 this year. The decision will come before the University Council to be ratified next month. In Dunedin, the South today.